Hey, this is John Parker Wilson. I played quarterback for the University of Alabama from 2006 to 2008. So I got the chance to play for both Coach Shula, who recruited me, um, with Dave Rader, who's the quarterback coach and coordinator at the time. And, you know, they did so much. I think people forget that we were on probation when, when, when he was there. Limited scholarships, originally couldn't go in the bowl game. And I think those coaches did a lot to recruit a lot of the guys and keep a lot of guys in state. And to have that building block and that base when Coach Saban came in and just completely changed everything. The, the growing pains that first year when we went six and six and then were able to win the bowl game against Colorado that year, you know, that's when the, the wheels started going. So there was a lot of change very quickly. And most people bought in because he really didn't give you a choice. Dating the quarterback was pretty nerve-wracking during the games, as you can imagine. But it was also amazing in the sense that I think that we have the greatest fans. So um, I always felt really great being by his side, especially after a big win. I think the proudest thing for me and for the other guys playing you know, during that time was to help rebuild and help restore to where we're at today. It, it would have been easy to just say, you know, this is, what it, this is what it is now, and this is where Alabama, we had a great past, but I think help building that for the future has been the proudest moment for us. The NFL, I think it is an all-star team of every college across the country. So you, you've got to go out there and not only compete against other guys, you've got to be teammates with the same guys, and you're all vying for the same spots. Up until week one of the season, you're just trying to make the squad. Luckily, Coach Saban, Jim McElwain, and even, you know, Coach Rader and Coach Hill when I was younger helped give me the building blocks to be able to, to make that roster my first year. It's a lot of, of the unknown, so you kind of keep your bags packed. You don't know where you're going to be at the end of the week. It's tough. It's, it's tough on a family. It's tough on, you know, I'm just glad that we're not living ahead of a suitcase anymore. In one sense, you want to go out there and you want to play forever. You want to be a little kid forever. And at the other end of the spectrum, you know at some point you've got to move on. I remember the Steelers cut me, and I knew that was, that was going to be the end of my career. I wasn't going to keep, keep trying to play. I was ready to, to start the next phase of my life. What are we going to have dinner? I'm thinking Billings. I grew up in Birmingham, and I wanted to come back, be able to go to games, be able to see my friends and family. Fight. To be a part of the community, where before you're kind of isolated from that, but being able to move back and be a part of the community is something I wanted to do. I'm a financial advisor with Morgan Stanley. A lot of things kind of got me in the business of, of wealth management and helping others manage their money. When I got to the Falcons, I really become very intrigued with everything that's going on. So we see guys that are making a lot of money, other guys kind of squeaking by. I think because I had prepared for that while I was playing and knew what I wanted to do, it was very easy for me to transition and to start a new career and be really passionate about it. I think going into work every day and being confident that you're not going to suddenly lose your job makes you probably want to, you know, strive to be better. We got through college, we got through the NFL, and now here we are. And I think because of it all, we've just become closer and stronger. When I was 20, looking and seeing if I had a goal when I was 30, I think I was so laser focused on what I was doing then, it was just football. To now it's, it's really being able to look and see what the next decade, the next two, three decades would look like.